Hello friends, I am back and no longer in Palm Springs, which was much cooler than expected because the last time I went out to the festival that I went to, it was extremely hot. It was just <laughs> so, so hot. So it was kind of nice, kind of not nice that it was cooler this time, but I'm back. I'm gonna try to work out after my weekend of partying, AKA my weekend of drinking. So we'll see how I do. It was two after parties and two daytime pool parties. So we'll see how I do. <laughs> but first up, we've got lateral walks. So 20 of them. So I'm just gonna kinda inch over and back. To be fair, I have gone on a couple walks since I've been back, but this is my first like, I don't know. Not that walking isn't a workout, but it's my first like non walk workout, I guess. But I got back Monday and I just took care of laundry and all that other fun junk. And I was just like, Ugh, no more drinking for a bit. <laughs> Cause I snuck in my own alcohol to the event as many people do. Um, and <laughs> I just like went a little overboard with it, but it was a lot of fun. I would hundred percent recommend the festival. And it's kind of, I feel like, like a smaller local thing almost, because really only like, most of the people I met there were like from LA for the most part. <laughs> um, but I don't know, it reminds me a lot of like college, like at least where I did my undergraduate degree. It's like very hot and a lot of like fraternities and like apartments have pools. So like there's just always like pool parties. Um, and this like festival kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like it, because it, like, reminds me of when I was, like, younger and more fun. <laughs> but, yeah, it was super fun. There was, like, a third after party on Sunday that I didn't make it to. <laughs> and, like, I meant to make it to it. Like, I set out my outfit, but I just, like, I sat down to, like, eat my dinner. And I was, like, let me just watch a little TV. And then, like, I'm, like, I don't want to go anymore. <laughs> and then I sat down. I don't want to go anymore. So I made it to, like four out of five and like to be fair like the after party was gonna cost me extra money it was gonna cost me like 30 bucks plus like ticket fees or whatever it's so, like 35 ish dollars and then plus like ubering there and back so it would have been like 60 bucks so i'm like eh, 60 bucks i could just like just sit here with my microwave mac and cheese and hulu <laughs> but i made it to most of the events so proud of me for doing that but I also was one of the younger people that I met. Um, well, not that I met myself, but I was, like, I was one of the younger people there, at least like of the people that I met because a lot of people that I met there were like 29. And like, I'm not that far off from being 29, but I'm like, oh, wow. I'm glad you guys are still going out here all night longer at 29 like my life will not be over at 30 I guess oh we skipped a step back I'm trying to do 10 of these also let me clarify <laughs> I'm just sitting here chit-chatting there were also people that I met that were in their late 30s and I'm like good for you for coming out here <laughs> but I also think that's kind of like an LA thing is that a lot of people like they don't stop partying like once they hit 30 which I feel like in the Bay Area some people kind of do like at least where I go out like you don't see like a lot of older people <laughs> like I feel like it's mostly like when I go out I'm like hmm I'm kind of the older people out here <laughs> but like I don't know I feel like in the Los Angeles area like there's still people that are like in their 30s and 40s just like out partying till like 3 or 4 a.m. <laughs> Which I love. I love that. That's why I want to move back there. But I mean, that's not the only reason why, but I love that. And Splash House is kind of like that, where there's just like older people like partying really hard. And I'm like, <laughs> I love this for us. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do this one more time. But it was so funny, like the first night. So Friday night's an after party. Saturday's a pool party and an after party. And then Sunday's a pool party. So it was funny, just like the excitement and like the energy, like getting on the bus Friday for the after party, it was just, I don't know, it was insane. Like all of a sudden, like they, this year they loaded us up on like public buses. Last year they had like, um, 
like those nice like charter buses. I don't know if that's the right word for it. That's what we called them like when I was in school, but like the nicer buses with like the seats, I guess. I don't know, like a tour bus, I guess. But this year they just had us all on public buses, which is totally fine. I like have nothing against public transportation. I actually like annoy people with how much I take public transportation. Um, but it was funny because we're all like holding on for dear lives to these handrails. There's, <laughs> they try to pack at least 80 people on each of the buses. <laughs> um, so we're all just holding on for dear life, smashed in like sardines. And all of a sudden the lights go out in the bus because like we're driving. Um, and then like the bus driver like had her own like speaker. Or maybe it was the bus speaker. I don't know. But all of a sudden she just started playing EDM and people just like lost their minds and like... <laughs> People were like waving around glow sticks and I'm like, well, it's like the pre-party to the after party. And it was so fun. And then like just <laughs> people kind of lost a little bit of steam as the weekend went on. But just like, ooh, that first bus ride was so good. <laughs> like I almost took out my phone to take a video. But I'm like, no, no, that's weird. I don't know any of these people. All right, I'm going to slightly adjust the angle because I'm going to be on the floor for this one. I also went to this whole event by myself and people were just like astounded. Like people were like, good for you. Like, that's crazy. You did it by yourself. And I'm like, yes, like I got on a flight. I got a hotel and I went to a music festival by myself. Like, I don't know. That's like blowing your mind. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm like a strong, independent woman. Like, <laughs> all right, there should be 12 of these. I gotta flip my head sideways. Cause this is, I think the only exercise on the floor and I'm not trying to unhook my hair. Three, six, nine. So normally this festival is very hot because it's, it's three weekends. It's one weekend in June and two weekends in August. And when I went last year, I just went to I think I actually went to like the first weekend in August and I very much considered going to the second weekend, but I was like so unprepared because I'd never been to it before. So I'm like, eh, maybe that's like too much. Like, <laughs> so I only booked the one weekend in August and I really wish I'd booked the second weekend because it's so much fun. But I was also really tired from like just the first weekend because I was so unexpected, but I'm going all three weekends this year. So two more weekends of it, which I'm so excited about. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, yeah. So, it's normally very hot. Like, it's normally, like, even after the sun goes down, it's 2 a.m. It's, still, like, over 100 degrees. Um, and this time, like, it was so, like, windy. <laughs> like, and it was, like, cold. Like, I had brought, like, a jacket to wear, like, on the plane rides just because it gets so cold on planes. Um, and I really only intended to, like, wear that, like, on the plane. Like, I did not pack any pants whatsoever for this trip. Like, Cause it's just normally so hot. Like you feel like you're melting at all times in Palm Springs. Um, but this time it was so windy and I ended up actually wearing <laughs> my jacket to one of the day parties and one of the, one of the after parties. It was so cold and windy, um, which I was not expecting. The people who stayed at nicer hotels than me were just like wearing their hotel robes. It was just such a fun vibe out there. I did not stay at a nice hotel because I stayed by myself and I just, even if I stay with other people, I don't stay at that nice of hotels. I just don't. I prioritize my costs um, of like, I don't know, like I take what I would spend on a hotel and I like spend it on food or like I spend it on um, like outfits instead of like the hotel room. So my hotel did not have any sort of robe for me to wear, but I just love that vibe. <laughs> I'm just like, but like, this is like an old money party. Everyone's just like out at the pool, like in their like white hotel robes. It was supreme. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use my more flexible band for the squats because I did squats one time in January and I like destroyed my knee. I don't know if it's because I'm getting old or what, but like I was trying to move a friend in and like my knee was all janked up and I'm like, I hate this. <laughs> What have I done to myself? So I'm gonna use like my stretchier band and hope I don't destroy my knees. Um, doing the squat thing. I think I'm supposed to stay like down the whole time. Just supposed to be squatting for a minute here.
Um, some notable people that I met at Splash House. So I was at the daytime pool party and there was this guy wearing this tank top that said, I love Asian girls and I'm half Asian. So I'm like, oh, that's kind of weird. It's just like some white dude with like corn road hair. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, kind of weird. And I, I like took a Snapchat video of it and I sent it to my sister <laughs> and I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> and so I went to the after party. I didn't think much about it. But other people were, like, talking about the guy, like, pointing at him. And then he, like, flexed. And he had, I love Asian girls tattooed inside his arm, too. I'm like, oh, God. Like, this man. This is <laughs> terrible. Like, it's not just the tank top. Like, it's your lifestyle. Like, <laughs> you have a tattooed on your arm. And so I didn't think anything of it. I'm like, what a weird scenario. Just, it's a white man with cornrows. <laughs> um, and then I was just, like, you know, hanging out. I was a vibing at the after party. And this woman comes up to me. She's probably like 10 or 15 years older than me. But all these, you know, I'm on so much on drugs. It doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter anyway. But <laughs> she was like, oh, come over and meet my friends. Like, just in case anyone weird tries to talk to you, then, like, you know people. And, like, meet all her friends. Obviously way older than me. But they're really nice. They, like, offer me drugs as well, which I do not partake in. But I'm like, that was really nice of them to offer. Um, <laughs> and... One of her friends was like, do you recognize me from the pool party? And I was like, no, I don't think so. And he was like, I was wearing that I love Asian girls tank top. I'm like, no, it's this guy. <laughs> and I was like, as someone who's half Asian, I find that very weird. And he's like, really? I get a lot of Asian girls with it. I'm like, there's no way. Like, there's absolutely no way. And like, I don't know. I just in that moment, I was like so embarrassed for both of my cultures. I was just like. Why are people falling for this? And like, why are we making this tank top a thing? <laughs> but it was just so wild. I was like, what are the odds I meet the I Heart Asian Girls tank top guy? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it makes a statement. I don't know if it makes the right statement, but it is certainly a statement. <laughs> I feel like that was one of the more notable characters I met at Splash House. <laughs> also, I met someone. It's like two seconds on the bus. Normally, it's like... Girls in the friend group will approach me, they're like, oh my gosh, are you by yourself? Or are your friends or whatever? And then, like, the other friend group will talk to me. They're like, whoa, you came here by yourself. That's crazy. Um, I met these people for, like, two seconds on the bus. And then they happen to see me again later. This guy, like, pulls out stuff. He's like, do you want any of this? And I'm like, no, I don't want any of that. But, like, I appreciate your generosity. Like, you don't even know me. Like, you're offering me a party favor. <laughs> That was another wild encounter. But I snuck out on alcohol in all weekend and I'm just, I'm so proud of that for like no reason at all. Like I'm like proud of that. Like I'm like 21 again, like <laughs> because it was a pool party and like shoving alcohol in my pool party top and like pants was not easy. <laughs> it's not easy to sneak in alcohol in a bikini. I will tell you that. But I made it work. All right. I will say this is a combo workout. So that's why it may look like I'm all over the place. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe this weight's too heavy. But we'll give it a go. We'll see how many I can do. <laughs> Four, six, eight. My elbow just popped. That was really nice. Ten, twelve, okay. I'm gonna call that twelve. I didn't, it doesn't say how many to do, but we're gonna just say twelve. Oh, another notable encounter. So, like, at this thing, you can get these, like, cabanas, which are, like, basically the equivalent of, like, getting, like, a table at, like, a nightclub. Um, so, but it is nice because you do get, like, a place to sit down and, like, shade and, like, bottle service and whatnot. So, so it's like, hey, come to my table and, like, take a shot with us. And I'm like, well, all right, free alcohol, I guess. Like, why not? Um, I went to the table. I took the shot. <laughs> 
And then like the person who invited me over just like totally ignored me. So I'm like, great, fantastic, I'm leaving. <laughs> but it's so wild. I was like, I know you like way overpaid for that bottle that I just took a shot from. Like I probably just took like a $5 or $10 shot or whatever. Because those bottles, they sell you were expensive. <laughs> and I'm like, well, you ignore me. I'm going, goodbye. <laughs> it worked out well. Except for their shot was tequila and I hate tequila. <laughs> Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay, fantastic. Moving right along. Next up is, I just need one weight for this. I'm gonna grab the heaviest weight that I have. It is a one to a half sumo squat. So I'm trying to angle myself so you guys can see me here. I'm also trying to think if there's anything else, anyone else notable that I met. Oh, so I feel so bad. I'm, I'm I don't know. Sometimes like I'm not great in social situations. I don't know. So I met this group of people. And they're like, hey, what did you think of the last DJ? And it was like the opener DJ. So like for context, like the pool party portion goes from like 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. And the after party portion goes from 9 p.m. until like 2 a.m. <laughs> so that basically there's like nonstop entertainment, like wherever you're at. Um, and... So, like, obviously they know a lot of people are not going to make it. It's like the one o'clock opener. I mean, a lot of people don't make it to openers anyway. But, <laughs> like, people were out till two, like, over drinking. Like, people don't really start showing up until, like, three or four when the bigger names come on. <laughs> so, like, I happened to get there early because I, like, left the after party kind of early. And by kind of early, I mean, like, one. <laughs> because... I was just so cold and I was wearing these like big earrings and they were like blowing around in the wind and I'm like I'm gonna destroy my earlobes out here like I'm going home I'm tired like so I'm like well because I went home early I'm gonna go to the pool party early so that you know it bounces out so <laughs> I happened to see part of the opener and this group of people that came up to me were like hey what do you think of the previous DJ and I was like oh I don't know he was like okay like I just got here like I don't really know <laughs> And they're like, oh, that's our friend from high school. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's really cool <laughs> that you like know the DJ. Like, that's wild. I was like, I should have said the DJ was good. I said the DJ was okay. Like, I couldn't think of another adjective. Like, I felt so bad. <laughs> but like, I don't know. Maybe he should have led with like, my friend from high school is the DJ. What did you think? And I would have said something nicer. <laughs> Like, I don't know, like, I hadn't really formulated an opinion, honestly, of the person. <laughs> it was funny, they all went to, like, a really bougie high school, like, where, like, the Kardashians and the Jenners live, and I'm like, wow, that's wild. <laughs> I don't know how many of these I'm supposed to be doing either. I think I took a screenshot of how many <laughs> I was supposed to be doing. I'm not sure if I transferred it over. So I find my workouts on TikTok, like on my phone. And I like to use my phone to play background music for my streams. So I will airdrop my workout that I've screenshotted over to my laptop. And so I'm not sure if the reps I should be doing transferred over. I'm also not sure my playlist just stopped. <laughs> Did I keep the screenshot? This is how many I'm supposed to do. No, I didn't. All right. I'm just kind of going with 12, I feel like. Seems to be working. Okay. This next one I definitely need a lighter weight for. So this is a lateral raise to close. This may honestly be too much weight, but 
We'll just see, why don't we? <laughs> Alright, that's one. Oh no, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Two. <laughs> this reminds me very much of a different exercise. It's kind of messing with my head a little bit here. Four. Okay, this is definitely more challenging than I thought it was going to be. Six. I don't know if that's seven or eight. We're going to say eight because I'm dying. Ten. Uh, should I get two more? I'm struggling a little bit here with this, but that's probably a good thing. Got to work off all the Tito's I spent all weekend drinking. <laughs> when I was unpacking my suitcase, I looked at it. I'm like, I drank half this bottle of Tito's by myself this weekend. <laughs> And, like, to be fair, like, I have brought alcohol to, like, four different events, so, like, that's why, but <laughs> I was like, that was a lot, like, and it's funny, because I had scheduled my annual, like, physical with my physician today, <laughs> and I'm like, she asked the question, she's like, how many alcoholic beverages do you have on average a week, and I was like, two or three, like, I'm just ignoring Splash House, Anomaly Weekend, Red, half a bottle of Tito's <laughs> over the weekend. But I just wasn't sure how much alcohol I would need for the all-day pool party. So I just, like, had a little Ziploc baggie and I just, like, filled it. <laughs> and I put it in my top and, like, I never got caught. And I would put, like, a little drink mixer packet. Like, those little, like, flavor packets. Not, like, a Kool-Aid packet, but they have, like, other flavors. <laughs> like, and I had one of those in my top. So I would, they had water stations everywhere because it's normally extremely hot. So I would, like, Fill my water bottle with water. I'd dump a little bit of, like, my alcohol baggie in. And then I would take my flavor mixer out of my top and just, like, mix it in. I'm like, all right. I just saved myself, like, 20 bucks probably from buying a mixed drink. And me, like, <laughs> just bringing it into my top instead. <laughs> just every time I got away with it, I'm like, oh, look at me. Like, <laughs> this little rebel. I also had, like, a little, like elf bar puff bar thing um but I'm like I just don't have any place to put it like where it wouldn't be obvious <laughs> like, so choices were made I opted to drink instead of have a puff bar this weekend which is like maybe better for me I don't know <laughs> my physical today my doctor was like I'm gonna like listen to your liver now and I'm like oh boy <laughs> I'm like please be okay bud <laughs> Because I will tell you, like, Saturday, like, that was, like, I think probably like, the most intoxicated I've been in, like, a long time. <laughs> and it was, like, an accident because, like, you know, I just, like, poured all this alcohol in the baggie. And so I just haphazardly poured it into my water bottle. So I just wasn't quite sure how much it was that I was drinking until, like, I was in the middle of the dance floor. I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> And it was, like, one of those things where, like, you know, like, I felt fantastic until I'm, like, all right, let me take a nap in between, like, the day party and the after party. And, like, I woke up from my nap. I'm, like, oh, boy, I am unwell. Like, that nap was not helpful. I should have maybe just kept going. <laughs> All right, next up, I do not want to pull out my bench for just this exercise, so I'm going to do it on the floor. It should be okay. I'm going to angle you guys down a little bit. So, I'm going to twist my head this way so I don't slam it into my clip, but nice little frog position here. It was crushing my hip bones. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Ugh. Okay, I don't have a good way to face my head. <laughs> Here. I have a meeting at 8 a.m. 
and it's because they let one of my coworkers go and I'm just like I'm never like thrilled when that happens like I don't know I always just take it kind of hard like when people like leave or they get fired I don't know I guess just because like I used to work in HR for many years and it's just like I don't know like I have to like fire people and it's just like I don't know like it sucks all around like and I don't know you just know you're like ruining people's days like when you do it and it's just it's awful so like I don't know I just like whenever it happens it's just like a bummer like it's a bummer who's a teammate it's a bummer it's like you know like I know like the thing that went into it it's just it's all bad but <laughs> my manager was not that sneaky about it because <laughs> He, like, sent out the invite to the team to come to the meeting at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. He's like, just a quick meeting. Like, try to make it if you can. It's last minute. But you could see who got invited to the meeting. So you can see the person's, like, not on the invite. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> Everything is fine. <laughs> oh, I meant to use a heavier weight for that. Whoopsies. All right. Next up... Um, this one's also going to be a challenging one for me, but that's all right. That's what we're here for. Adjust the camera angle because I'm not on the ground anymore. All right, so this is an alternating, alternating position front raise is what this is called. So I'll cut off my feet in this. That's okay. <laughs> all right, so it's like a front raise like this. And then a front raise like this. So that's one. Two. It's gonna take me forever to get to 12. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> My arms feel like I'm gonna fall off. Ten, eleven. <laughs> One more. Here we go. I actually don't know if I'm doing like the right amount of these. I've just been doing like twelve each time, which seems like. A sufficient quantity. Well, it's been working here for almost 30 minutes. That's pretty good. My physician today I went to see said I should be aiming for 30 minutes every day. So here we go. All right, one more set of these. I was a little bit disappointed because it was so cold in Palm Springs this weekend. Because I had, like, really cute outfits picked out that I picked out months ago. Like, when I got my work bonus, like, I spent it on, like, festival fits. So I've been planning to wear these fits for months. And <laughs> it was so cold when I was there. So I, like, I thankfully looked at the weather and I brought backup outfits. I'm like, mm, I don't really want to wear these, like, but if I have to, I'll wear them. And I ended up wearing both of my backup outfits. I'm like, sad. Okay. <laughs> Because I had bought all these like cute accessories, like matching like sunglasses and like headbands and earrings and like hair clippies to go with like the outfits I had picked out for months. Like, but I just ended up wearing my backup outfits all weekend, which was fine. It was, it was still cute, but like, I was like, well, bummer. <laughs> so now I don't know if I want to keep those outfits or not, because I don't know if I'm going to wear them again. So I don't know. Sad on that part. But it was kind of nice. It wasn't just extremely hot. Because where I went to, where I got my undergraduate degree from, like, it was really hot. So, like, you do get kind of used to the heat. Um, so, like, I don't mind it being super hot. Like, once it's over 100, I'm, like, not thrilled. But, like, I've lived in it before. So, like, I'm not like, whoa, this is the hottest temperature I've ever experienced in my life. But I would have preferred it to be a little bit warmer. <laughs> So it was really only warm, like, the day that I flew in, and, like, after that, it was just chilly. I did get the cutest, I feel like the cutest Uber I've ever been in when I was out there. So, 
like I thought a lot of the Uber drivers know, like when these big festivals come into town, because there's obviously like a huge spike in people that want to use Uber because the town I feel like is a lot for retired people. Like there's not a lot of big companies out there. Like it's just mostly older retired people that just want to be warm and like golf all day. So there's, I don't know, maybe not like a huge portion of people taking Ubers. <laughs> um, but like the Uber driver had his car like all decked out with like cute like flip flop decor and like those little like foamy balls that like when you like hit someone with them like all the water comes out of them because they're like sponge balls and like he had like little mints in his car and like those little like gummy Krabby Patties and he even had like a cooler in the front seat. He's like, would you like a water? And it was like a cold water. I was like, this is a fantastic Uber ride. <laughs> I tipped him well because I'm like, Oh, it's just like so cute. There's like little goggles and little flip flop decor and like, it was just so thematic. I loved it. So that was certainly a trip highlight. <laughs> okay, one more exercise. I don't know why I'm getting like very warm in here. And so is my laptop. So my laptop is, as per usual, making that sound like it's going to take off. <laughs> and I don't like it. It makes me nervous because I know my laptop's for some reason like way overheating and that makes me nervous. All right, I'm gonna do a nice little alternating lunge here with one weight. Okay, when I do these, I feel like I slowly inch towards the camera. So I'm gonna try not to do that, but TBD. <laughs> One. Two. Four. Ooh, I ran into my closet. <laughs> Five. Six. Eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay. I definitely ran into my closet on that one. <laughs> I think I may have missed one, but that's okay. I'm so out of breath right now. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I haven't worked out in a while or because I partied all weekend. <laughs> Probably both. But I will say, I lost weight <laughs> from like partying all weekend because I was just like dancing all weekend, like <laughs> for like eight, 10 hours a day, just like vibing to house music. So I was getting like 20,000 plus steps in a day. So that's probably why, you know, how many calories an hour does partying burn? <laughs> a lot, apparently. <laughs> I also didn't want to spend money on food when I was there <laughs> because I'm so cheap. So I pre-packed food for myself in my suitcase. So I had like microwave rice, like microwave mashed potatoes, microwave mac and cheese. Um, and when I got to town, like I bought myself like a little basket of strawberries and like a sandwich. <laughs> so like I just ate all my meals out of my suitcase. So like food and beverage cost toll for the trip was like <laughs> $6. <laughs> I brought my own bottle of Tito's like I brought my own drink mixes like I pretty much only got the water that was like free at the venue um so I really only just bought like my little basket of strawberries and a sandwich <laughs> so you know that like mac and cheese and mashed potatoes diet I guess is like not truly terrible for you <laughs> but it was so funny I like came back home and I like telling my mom about it I'm like I didn't spend any money on food <laughs> and she's like you're ridiculous like you know like people love to go on vacation and like eat out and stuff and I'm like yeah not me <laughs> I thought about it they did have like food trucks outside of one of the pool parties um and it's like a pretty famous like sandwich shop in the area I will say it's a little bit expensive um but like you know they have their like sandwiches like at like the major events that are in Palm Springs area like 
Coachella and Stagecoach and Splash House. But it was $25 for a sandwich. I mean, even like chips and like maybe a drink, but I'm like, $25 for a sandwich. <laughs> I'm like, I simply cannot. I'm like, I'm just gonna go back and eat my instant mac and cheese and mashed potatoes. Thank you very much. <laughs> So they almost got me. I'm like, ooh, a hot sandwich would be so good right now, but I could not bring myself to spend $25 on a sandwich. <laughs> I just could not. <laughs> okay. Not gonna lie, I lost track of how many <laughs> I've done here. But that seems like sufficient. That seems that seems like enough. <laughs> Okay, I made it. First workout back. <laughs> Done. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.